Maybe good morning, uh, just <laughs> before two, uh, noon. Yeah, uh, I'm very honored to be here. Uh, thank you for inviting me and uh, uh, give chance to share Korea's experience. Uh, I think uh, the previous presenters are very concerned about uh, figures, but for me, uh, maybe the figures are important, but uh, for this presentation, I want to share how uh, Korean government, ex-government, uh, has, <laughs> has made effort to establish 2050 carbon neutrality scenario and to make a social consensus. Uh, actually, I, my name is Sun Jin Yoon, and I'm a professor at Seoul National University, uh, but I was the co-chairperson uh, of 2050 Carbon Neutrality Commission with uh, Prime Minister under the president, ex-president Moon Jae-in. So I was, uh, I, I stood especially in the center of uh, decision-making process to establish 2050 carbon neutrality scenarios. Actually, you know, um, 2050 carbon neutrality or net zero is very important, but 2030 NDC uh, is also very important. As you know, greenhouse gas emission, greenhouse gases emitted uh, stay at the atmosphere for a long time. So our uh, first action to uh, maybe reduce our emissions first is very important. So uh, when the IPCC issued the special report on global warming, uh, and 1.5 Celsius degree, in that report, IPCC emphasized uh, we need to have 2050 net zero also to make it possible. It is very important to reduce our emissions uh, quickly in the early stages. So by 2030, emission reduction target is very important. So IPCC recommended at that time a uh, 45% reduction from the level of 2050 by 2030. So it means 100% by 2050, but 40% uh, within 10 years, the early 10 years. So it is very important. So we all recognized that that kind of action, the early action is important, but our reality is a little different difficult to make it happen. So anyway, I want to show you the process and the experience happened in Korea. Uh, before uh, the declaration of 2050 carbon neutrality, we has followed such steps. Uh, in 2009, at that time, uh, Lee Myung-bak government, it uh, announced uh, 2020 reduction target. It was a 30% reduction compared with the business as usual. I heard your target for 2030 is uh, business as usual. But anyway, at that time, we made uh, such kind of decision. And then 2015, we made the 2030 reduction target. It was a 37% reduction compared with BAU. And uh, that was happened in Park Jung, uh, Park, uh, Park Geun Hye government. And then 2819, we made another decision. We changed our reduction target uh, methodology. Not BAU anymore. We made absolute reduction target. It was 24.4% reduction from 2017 emission, real emission. And again, uh, so uh, it was converted into 2018 reduction. It was 26.3% because 2018, uh, our emission was peaked. But anyway, and 2020, October, uh, the uh, ex-president Moon Jae-in declared 2050 carbon neutrality. And the last year, uh, May, the end of May, the organization 2050 Carbon Neutrality Commission was launched. And uh, below figures show you the way 
of our emission. Actually, you know, even though we promised a uh, 30% reduction from our BAU by 2020, but it was not achieved. You can see there uh, more than 1 million tons over emitted compared with our reduction target. It was a blue line. That is, that was the way we should follow our uh, actually goal. That was uh, 543 million tons in 2020. And the BAU was uh, 776 million. So 30% reduction from that was five or something. But our real reduction was 648.6 million tons. So uh, 100 million tons was over. So before uh, there was declaration of carbon net zero in uh, October 2020, uh, there was a lot of activities in Korea. So the uh, 2050 carbon neutrality declaration did not come out of nowhere uh, one day. It was not sudden declaration. There was many steps. So uh, there was a big dialogue within the government and uh, with the public and the local government declaration. And there are two levels of local government in Korea. One is metropolitan. Uh, it we call province, Do. Uh, they had a declaration, and before their activity, uh, Beijing level of local government declared. So such kind of steps we had, and uh, finally, Moon Jae-in, President Moon Jae-in, declared net zero on October 28th in 2020. And you know, after that uh, declaration, as I, uh, the government issued the carbon neutrality promotion strategy the, at the end of uh, 2020. And then based on that promotion strategy, the organization, 2050 Carbon Neutrality Commission, was uh, established May. So you can see me there, uh, the <laughs> uh, light green. Uh, <laughs> yeah, that, that's me. And then uh, our uh, National Assembly legislated the Framework Act on Carbon Neutrality and Green Growth. Korea became 14th country which legislated the 2050 carbon net zero target in the, uh, at the level of law, not just a declaration. We made the law. So, uh, but at that time, the law's name is a little different, uh, maybe not just the carbon neutrality and green growth. And finally, we issued, determined 2050 carbon neutrality scenarios uh, in October last year. And at the same time, we enhanced our 2030 reduction target. We, uh, maybe we call NDC, Nationally Determined Contribution. Why? I already showed you the target we made for 2030 was made in 2015. At that time, there was no declaration or no target of 2015 net zero. So our uh, last target for 2030 cannot achieve the goal for 2050 net zero. So we should enhance our target. So you know, 2015 net zero, it is a little far away from now. So you can, it is not a big deal actually. Big deal, 2030 NDC. So it is very important and uh, uh, many conflict we have had. And uh, you know, uh, 2050 Carbon Neutrality Commission uh, was organized as a control tower for carbon neutrality policy and it was uh, or it is a focal point of partic public participation and communication. And there are many uh, sub-organizations there so sub-commissions, A sub-commissions, and the steering commission, and consultation mechanism, and the citizens' accounts for carbon neutrality. It is very important to listen to lay people's voice. And commission of the whole, that was the organization. We can uh, maybe make uh, another figure like this. 
Actually, that commission is one of the biggest commission under the president. It is composed of 97 commissioners originally. But actually, our law defines state uh, maybe under 100 commissioners we can have. But uh, at the beginning, we had 97 commissioners all together, but two were resigned, uh, three were resigned, and one was appointed again. So uh, finally, it became 95 commissioners. It includes 18 ministers. So you know, I was co-chairperson, and uh, I had our ministers as a member of a commission. So it is high, uh, one of the highest uh, commission of our country. But anyway, and a unique one is Citizens Council for Carbon Neutrality. It is composed of more than 500 lay people uh, who we should give them a kind of representative. So we proportionally selected them based on gender, age, and uh, local area. And at this time, age, for public engagement process, usually in Korea, we collect people over 19 years old. Because in Korea, 19 years old means adult. But for this council, we lowered the level of age, 15 years old. Because climate change gives more impact on future generation. So we need to hear a young generation, but not Maybe we cannot in include babies so over 15 years old. It means uh, middle school students and high school students. And we had uh, consultative bodies. It means we should hear uh, more uh, direct stakeholders' voice. So it is composed of industry, uh, civil NGOs, youth groups, and local government, and labor union and farmers union. So such kind of stakeholders group, uh, I, we made some conversation with them. These are the whole operating mechanism. And to uh, establish the 2050 carbon neutrality scenario, we need some kind of draft to work on that. So the government, uh, submit uh, a kind of proposal. To make that proposal, they prepared a uh, draft scenarios by technical working group. Uh, it was composed of 72 experts, including researchers from 45 government-affiliated re research institutions. And uh, they were recommended by 11 uh, ministries. And they provide the uh, proposal Draft. And based on that proposal draft, within CNC, Carbon Neutrality Commission, we made a deep discussion. Uh, 54 meetings we have had until just uh, before August 5th, you know. We launched it uh, 29th of May. So just uh, two months, we had 54 meetings. Too many meetings. Um, and then we issued or we publicly announced the draft scenario. And based on that draft scenario, we collected the public opinion from stakeholders and from lay people, especially through Citizens Council for Carbon Neutrality. And based on those uh, opinions we collected, we made the decision, final decision, and uh, publicly announced the final scenarios. And based on that scenario, we made uh, 2030 NDC. We enhanced. So this is the uh, draft scenario. Yeah, that's an, again me. I announced it on behalf of CNC. Uh, at that time, that scenario, we had uh, three scenarios. Uh, you can see the uh, 2018's emission. That was the basic year. Our total emission was 727.6 million tons, and uh, there was, it does not include the absorption. So if we uh, calculate uh, absorption, maybe it is uh, the pure emission. That emission is uh, 680 something. Yeah, and in case of Korea, energy sector emits most greenhouse gases around uh, 
86.9%, so around 87% is emitted from the uh, energy sector. Among them, energy transformation sector emits around 30, uh, 37% and the industrial sector emits 36% similar. But it does not include the indirect emission from electricity consumption. If we include the indirect emission from electricity consumption, our industrial sector emits more than half. 54% of our emission comes from the industrial sector. Why? Our industry is uh, composed of very energy intensive uh, industries. That is the reason, especially steel industry, cement industry, and petrochemical industry. So it is not easy for Korea to move toward the net zero. But anyway, that scenario, three scenarios like that, scenario one includes coal-fired power plant and LNG. Scenario two, LNG, uh, especially the transformation center, sector, because there is a big difference in transformation sector. And the scenario three, no emissions from transformation sector. Why? Uh, more than 7% of renewable energy and others green hydrogen and ammonia. So we uh, planned no emissions from transformation sector. So we, uh, I announced or uh, presented this scenario. What happened? Lots of critique uh, raised, especially, you know, by the industrial people and the civil society, both. They are a very extreme op opinion and uh, we collide. So, industrial sector, the target, or especially, you know, the industrial sector's uh, uh, target is too high, they said. But, uh, so, you know, from 260 to 53. Oh, I, I do not have much time, yeah, I see. So, you know, uh, they were upset, but based on the same figure, civil society, people in civil society upset to low emission target for the industrial sector. Why? So, you know, they upset and uh, it is a show. The CNC make a show. You should be demolished. That kind of critique I had. You know, but scenario means possible ways or possible image. So that scenario shows you if we take scenario one, if we keep coal-fired power plant, we should utilize more capacity of CCUS, carbon capture and utilization and storage. And we cannot achieve that goal within Korea. We need to have industrial cooperation more. That kind of... Uh, implication we can have. But they didn't listen to that one. But anyway, so, and you know, especially not just the 2050 scenario, 2030 NDC, we uh, discussed and uh, our framework act on green growth, uh, carbon neutrality, green growth uh, stated the government should make the goal over 35% from 2018. So oh, that was minimum level. So within the discussion, uh, uh, CNC discussion, we end with the government. We thought 40%. But uh, the commissioner of our CNC, uh, five commissioners uh, expressed resignation, that de resigned. Uh, the person, that one, she was the youngest commissioner. Uh, her age was just 20 years old. So to reflect young people's voice, uh, we, uh, she was appointed as commissioner. But she said, no, it is, we, the 2030 NDC is uh, too low. I cannot accept. And the uh, right part, uh, commissioners from religious group, they thought we cannot achieve 2050 uh, carbon neutrality with this uh, low 2030 NDC. How should we do? So we have many, many meetings with the stakeholders and the uh, CNC meeting. So I asked them, uh, you should publicly submit your opinion, position paper. And it was uh, 
uh, publicly uh, delivered through our web page. So anybody can see their statement, their opinion. But anyway, I do not have much time. So this is the final scenario. And we eliminated the scenario one because uh, uh, through uh, Citizens Council for Carbon Neutrality, people thought more than 80% of participants thought we should close coal-fired pipe power plant by uh, 2050. So we can eliminate that scenario. And we left two scenarios. And at this time, more active scenario comes first. It was another people's opinion. So we made scenario uh, plan A and plan B, and uh, both two scenarios can make uh, carbon neutrality within uh, Korea, not through international cooperation. And you can see there uh, the composition of energy mix for energy transformation sector. So at that time, we had a nuclear phase-out policy. So for 2050, uh, plan A includes just 6.1% uh, of nuclear. In case of plan B, 7.2%. Uh, and uh, over 70% uh, of renewable for plan A and over around 60% of renewable energy. So let me make the uh, last one. Still, it was criticized. So now we have a big challenge. Uh, we cannot go back because it is international agreement. We should uh, go back, slide back, so we should go uh, forward. So the government, uh, the new government uh, uh, announced we will keep the target. But the prob problem is we cannot make it through renewable energy. So new government wanted to uh, er erase the former government policy, nuclear phase out policy, abolished. And, and the new uh, basic plan for electricity supply and demand, the share of the, uh, nuclear has expanded and uh, the share of renewable has reduced. So it is big challenge for Korea because we do not have any spent fuel disposal site and uh, many people around the nuclear power plants, uh, their body has been contaminated by tritium or other radioactive materials. So, and many people do not accept any more facilities with the, within their uh, community. And our grid system cannot uh, accept big power from nuclear power. That is very serious problem. So, uh, I think, uh, political leadership is very important and people's uh, agreement is very important. And uh, not just the, the, that such kind of uh, figures, I think the way we can, we have made uh, social consensus, that is important. And I, when I heard the, the question, do you think 2050 carbon neutrality is possible? My answer was, it's time for us to change the question. We should not ask like that. We should ask, how can we, how can we realize the, the target? The way we should find, not just uh, is it possible, we should make it possible. That is, uh, that's my argument. Thank you.